Hello everybody, this is a carving I did today. It's a whimsical house and I thought, um, you know, I might as well add some color to my piece today. Um, you see there's a little gnome sitting in here. Um, I just googled what three colors go great together. They said ye yellow, green and red. So I painted two of the houses red. No, sorry. Three of the houses red and three of the houses green and I painted the windows yellow. So what this video is going to be about, it's going to be a real quick video is talk about black wash. Black wash makes it so I don't have to burn inside all of these shingles and stuff like that in the deep spots in here. And I know it looks super bright and kind of tacky right now, but I think by the time we're done this piece, it's going to look a lot better. Okay. So what I'm going to do first of all, I got this, uh, what, 80 grit sandpaper. I'm just going to run along. And I'm going to sand the high points on this thing here because I'm going to give this a spray with a clear coat and then we'll do the black wash just to make the high points come out a bit. Okay, perfect. You can see I got all the high points sanded on the paint and then the rocks and the chimneys. So I know for a fact when I spray this on, all this natural wood, this is cottonwood bark by the way, is going to go dark. So these high spots where I sanded are going to go dark. Now, if I was going to do the black wash on just this wood, this it's it's this wood will suck in the black and it will make hard make it hard to make this wood look wood color again. If that makes sense. So I just talked to just carved Rob. I'm going to spray it with this Rust Oldham Satin Clear. I'm going to give it three coats. I'm going to seal it. You can do the black wash when you don't before you seal it, but I suggest sealing it first because then the black won't sit into the high spots because we want because we want to put it on. Black wash is mixing paint with water, putting it on and wiping it off, right? So it's the black sits in the dark the deep spots between these shingles. Even in the window there, it will be blacker. It won't be so bright. Okay, so do you follow me? So if you put the clear coat on first, you can use this. You can use whatever you want. You could uh, just raw, carve Rob loves to use the Mod Podge. And um, so I'm not going to show you me spraying this, the three coats. It might take a day to dry. So I'm going to get that done. Then we'll get to the point and we'll do the black wash. So it's now the next day. I got two good coats of that um, Rust Oldham sealer on here. Now it's time to do the black wash, what this video is about. So I got a little paper cup here, some dollar store black paint. To do the black wash, you can use as much paint, as much water as you want. So like more paint, less water, it's going to be black, you know, um, on an opposite, vice versa. If you want to make it darker, just use more paint, less water and it will be darker. I want to make this one kind of dark because, well, this piece is just a little bit too bright for me and hope it darkens up pretty good. So I got the paint in here. Now I got some, I seen a clump full in there, but now I'm going to get some hot water in here and I'm going to fill this up about, um, I don't know, I think I'm going to do 25% water, 65.3%. Uh, no, I'm going to do 10% water and 63.105 water. Does that make sense? Okay. So I'm just going to sit here and mix this paint up till it's diluted in the water. Let's see here. Yeah, that's pretty dark. Yep. Okay, so it's mixed up pretty good. Um, so the paint is diluted into the water and vice versa. So you need to have a rag. What I got is an old sock here. I don't have a clean rag. All you do is just, uh, so once again, this is already sealed, so I don't have to worry about the wood absorbing it in, right? So all you want all the black to sit in the low points, like in there, right? So let's see if we can do some, uh, I'll zoom in uh, with my program. So you put it on. This is pretty dark black wash. We'll just start off with this red one here. I'm not a fan. Some people like colorful carvings and stuff like that. I'm just not a big fan of super colorful things. Okay, so we got that all painted. Get under the roof there. 
No, we'll just wipe it off. Now see how that red comes out? Okay, let's uh, zoom in. Okay, doesn't look so bright red or bright yellow anymore, does it? You can, uh, you know, the more that you wipe it off, the more you're going to get the original color popping back. So let's do, um, let's do this roof here. You guys will get a good view of this. Make sure you get in between the, the shingles because, well, that's what you're going for. You want the dark to stay inside the, between the shingles, right? This just saves you from having to use a wood burner. see if we can get some better lighting here for you guys there you go sorry about that and uh lighting is very important for when you're doing any type of art better lighting better well you're going to see what's going on better and like i said i'm not worried about this uh wood of uh, this bark absorbing the color because well it's got a clear coat on it just make sure your clear coat's dry like don't be rushed to, to do it. And then just carve Rob likes to use, um, I just carve Rob. He likes to use Mod Podge. Then he'll do it. So now we'll wipe these shingles. So there is the blash walk, blash, black wash effect doesn't look so clean and neat anymore does it no okay let's do this chimney up here this kind of just makes it look um whether there is stuff you can buy that's actually called black wash but I, i've looked for it i think walmart sells it or like michael's where you can buy it on uh ebay not eBay, um, Amazon. I've just never had any luck, and I, this black works good enough for me. Um, Doug Linkner, well-known YouTuber, uh, uses black wash on a lot of his, his little signature. Are they called signatures? I mean, little figure carvings that he does, and just carve Rob does it lots too. Uh, Ben's studio on the lake. Yeah, I think he's. I think I've seen him done it. Do it, done it, did it. This is just a, it's a fun project, right? Eh? Okay, I got to be careful not to wipe this chimney too hard because I don't want to break it. I just broke something. I heard it click off. Get those shingles good. You know, you, once this dries, don't forget you're putting water on it. So you got to make sure it dries. Then you could put another coat on over top. But there you go. There's the chimney. Okay, so I'm going to finish uh, all this and then we'll talk about it. I'll be back. You can also get a bigger brush and, you know, just like kind of get the job done. Instead of just puttering around. Time is money. Time is money. Sometimes. No money, no honey. Most times. Okay, this little gnome here is landlord out of all these houses. So he's just kind of hanging out, looking down. So there you go, black wash. You know, if I wanted to make this, see how this one's got black in it? It looks all old, weathered, and antiqued. If I wanted to make this one black, I could just put some more in there and uh, let it dry. But you can see there's black in there. So that's how you make your carvings look not so new. You can do this for big chainsaw carvings too, right? Black wash. I love black washing all my carvings when I do paint pretty well. Super fun project. I know Ben's studio in the lake's got a lot on his plate. He's doing that, um, what's it called? The, uh, the friggin' oh boy, here we go. Vampire kit, which is super cool. But I know he likes doing these uh, fairy house um, gnome villages too. So hope you guys are all good. Oh yeah, another thing too, you can take this out and spray it again outside or whatever you spray your stuff. 
That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take it outside and give it a spray of matte. And I'll show you one more time. Okay, friends, that's going to be it on this one. So it just goes to show you that you can put a clear coat on once you do your black wash too. And um, got the little gnome down there. Just have fun. Happy Sunday. And um, don't shit your pants. Carbon Fusion. Over and out.